I'm Robert Walton. I'm an artist. I've been working for about 20 years. Started off in theatre, but my work is increasingly about the encounter with new technologies and places. The heart came into being as a way for us to start to imagine the duration of this collection of this building. And I was thinking very much about what does it mean for a building to be able to remember you? The heart is animated by data from 5,000 sensors reacting to the human community that live and work and play here. The proposal spoke in a language that I understand and that's because it has, it's human, it, it's emotional. For me, an artwork needs emotion, particularly for a uh, building such as this, and it's about connections and about people coming together, but also about technology and engineering. This project wove everything together. It feels like like a living thing almost that that's accompanying you in your entry into the building. When I heard that it is hooked to several thousand sensors in the building that measure carbon dioxide and people's activity. It was really that dynamism and that creativity that attracted me from the beginning. Melbourne Connect has 4,800 sensors that measures lots of things about its internal and outside status. AI can help us bring these data points from that complex a high dimensional space down to a 3D where we can see it and push it into the 3D display of LEDs. For me, really encapsulates almost everything we're trying to do here at Melbourne Connect. It's an amazing and exciting, innovative collaboration piece. When you look at art and it's tied to AI, it's a way of humanizing, I think, the AI. If we can shift our own attitude toward AI that way, I think we can embrace it without fear. And it takes art as well as science to do that. Can a building have a heart? That's the question that I asked at the beginning of this process three and a half years ago. And what we can see now in the foyer of Melbourne Connect is the beginning of the answer to that. 